today we're at possibly the best value golf course in all of Bangkok is called Mung Egg Golf Club. So green fees, caddy fees and caddy tip is, comes to just under $40 midweek. Quite a competitive rate. Uh, this is excluding a buggy as I don't use them if I don't have to. So it's a great tee shot, we found the fairway. But this approach shot with the wedge is a total miss hit. Yeah, just a really bad one there. We pitch one over a bunker. That it rolls out further than intended, but we have still have a 25 footer for par. And a bit of a misread there. It's a long way to the right, but it's quite a good pace that one. And we just missed a trickle there for bogey. It's a bit annoying that. And the sixth shot is a duff putt, and we caught a four putt triple bogey on the opening hole. <laughs> so this course is only the second course we've ever played in Thailand. <laughs> is that okay, yeah? <laughs> the caddy liked that drive, and uh, yeah, straight away the course looks great. Uh, nice split fairway on this one, water all down the left. And we have a chance to hit the green in two with a 170 yard approach shot. And this shot was hit slightly heavy, losing distance. Oh yeah, you're right, it's short. <laughs> 170, correct. Yeah. And I was confused by my GPS on that shot. It was 130 on the GPS and 170 the caddy's saying, so it's a bit weird. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> anyway, we hit a really good pitch shot close to the hole. And hold the four footer, and the first part of the day goes on the scorecard. Handicap one. Yeah. Handicap one. Oh, handicap one. Thanks. Hole three is the first of the par fives here. And we make another really good connection with the driver. Finds a fairway over 200 yards. Happy with that one. Right, it's another nice morning in Bangkok, Thailand. Nice uh, crisp morning. No wind at all. Perfect weather for golf. <laughs> and second shot here is another miss hit. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing there. Should be taking a seven iron, just it. knocking it 140 down the fairway, leaving myself 110 in. So yeah, just very poor mistake by me there. So we're blocked out here for the third yeah, shot, so just going to try and hit it 100 yards down the fairway. And uh, yeah, this hole looks amazing. Couldn't believe it when I was there in person, like it's one of the cheaper courses in Bangkok this. Very well manicured, <laughs> lovely hole. Only one tree. And, um, you can. Oh yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Golf's a funny old game, the only palm tree in the fairway, uh, we're right behind it. So yeah, errors compounding themselves. A really tricky shot there. Couldn't follow through because of the route. Yeah. End up just short of the green. And we decided to putt this one to get it as a percentage play, but wasn't oh such yeah. a good effort. Oh and yeah. just confirmed my caddy, uh, Som is my caddy there. She was really good. I think I've been lucky. I've had nothing but good caddies so far. We have the 10 footer for the bogey here. And I think I pulled this one slightly, and uh, yeah, the greens are really tricky here at this course. Oh, it's okay, my play. <laughs> I'll miss it anyway. <laughs> and here's a picture of the clubhouse with the pricing. It's about 1,350 baht, uh, all in midweek. Here's some pictures I took of the pro shop with the pricing list. And yeah, quite good value, I think. And there's the scorecard. Hole 4, struck in next 2, second hardest hole in the course, a dog leg to the left, par 4. And we make another really good connection with the driver, go straight down the middle. That's pretty good. <laughs> driver good today. <laughs> Driver's good. Everything else bad. <laughs> Oh, 
We have an approach to the green around 180 yards, going with the hybrid. And not for the first time today, this one has hit heavy, losing distance. So we pitch one on now and have a chance to save par. And you can see me there, I'm pacing out the putt. I pace out all my putts, um, even the shortest to the longest ones. Pacing out the putts tells me about the green speeds, if I'm hitting too fast or slow on a certain day. And we're just outside the gimme zone. I managed to hold the short putt for a bogey with no drama on hole four. And there's another good drive. Yeah, these holes are really nice. They're, they're open. You can hit the driver on them. It is a really nice front nine here at Monk Egg. <laughs> and the layup with the six iron wasn't so good. It was a hook off to the left. And now we're blocked out, trying to hit over a tree to the green around 90 yards out. <laughs> I think something went wrong with the, the grass, it kind of grabbed the club face and shut it down. I ended up missing the green to the left and hit the path. And yeah, we ended up in just a terrible position, just dead. <laughs> Can't even take a drop here. I didn't even know where to drop. I wanted to take an unplayable, there was nowhere to drop it. Wow. Stop, stop. So it's a total hit, hit and hope shot here with no backswing. And luckily it comes out. So we're in the bunker here. Not ideal, but at least we're still in play. And this bunker shot was hit pretty well for me. Ends up 12 foot away. I'll take that all day long, as I'm terrible out of bunkers. So 12 footer here. Yeah, it's just a total misread by me there. And the seven footer coming back, and that was quite a good putt, that one. But we card our second triple bogey of the day, second blow up hole. The scorecard is not looking good. Hole six is the first of par threes, loads of water on this hole. It's a really good one. And we make a good connection with this iron shot, with a six iron. Heading towards the green. It's over. And I thought it was over, but we actually made it onto the green. And we got our first green in regulation of the day. Happy with that. So it's the first birdie putt swimming up. It's a long one, it's a 38 footer. Yes, yes, yes. Stop short. Okay. Not too bad a putt that one actually. Lime was okay. <laughs> Some our uh, caddy was giving so much encouragement. Just taking my time here on this shorter putt. Uh, I'm still getting used to these greens. Nothing like the bent grass greens of home. And we hold the four footer for the second part of the day. This is a dog leg to the right. Just going to hit to the right side of this condo. Hole seven is a par four dog leg to the right. Yeah, good one, I it? thought I hit a good tee shot here, but just lost the ball out to the right slightly. And it's the first fairway missed of the day. I stuck behind a six ball putting out. Uh, this is golf in Thailand. Uh, you just have to go with the flow here though. You can't, you can't get angry about these things. <laughs> this is 120, just hitting a seven iron. Punch shot to the left side of the green. So 
So we're pin high to the left in a big greenside bunker with a kind of lip to go over. Not an ideal spot for me this one. And this bunker wasn't completely dry, it was kind of wet sand. And for the fourth shot there, yeah, it was just a terrible lie in the bunker. It was kind of in someone's footprint, so not much I could do there. Anyway, chip one back on and have a seven footer for a double bogey. And that one just misses to the left and goes outside the gimme circle. I always used to think it was three foot away, the circle, but it's actually two and a half foot away. And we miss the three footer and card a quadruple bogey eight, three putting from seven foot away. Not good news that one. So things are not getting any easier. 190 yard par three. We lose the tee shot out to the right, but it just about stays in play. It's okay. Another dodgy shot. Uh, not going so well this morning, but you just got to take the rough with smooth. Just keep going. <laughs> and we still had a shot of the green. Quite lucky there, not to be in the bunker or worse, blocked out. Yeah, it's okay, it's on. And have a chance to save par with a 20 footer. And that was much better paced that putt. Hole 9, so par 4, playing back to the clubhouse area. Looks quite tight off the tee, this one. And we make a good connection with the driver, but unfortunately missed the fairway to the right. It's, it's 150 to the green. I'm totally blocked out, and it's a bit of a risky shot. So, I'm just going to hit the sand wedge over these uh, these palm palm tree thing. The second shot here at this this rough is a bit dodgy. Just didn't hit it hard enough, I think. Yeah, we just <laughs> we just had an interesting discussion on what clubs go. I'm going to go. We're going to go nine iron left side of the green. Uh, this this cow grass stuff. So this is hitting to an island green out, out of the rough, not ideal. And it was hit to the left side of the green as intended. But unfortunately, missed the green to the left long slightly. We have a short greenside pitch here, hitting onto a down slope. I've hardly got any landing area here to hit, otherwise it's going to go miles past. and we end up duffing it. Ten, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, you know you've played a bad hole when you lose count of the score, but it was a quadruple bogey eight on that last hole. So the front nine score was 54, 18 over. So um, yeah, not much to say about that. Uh, rude awakening, didn't putt well, didn't the approach play wasn't there. Played really well off the tee in general for the first um, first five holes, but I'm not going to read too much into it as I'm still getting used to these different courses. It's just like totally different grass to put on and the feel is so much different out of the rough and uh, greenside is totally different. Uh, but overall this course, it, I think I thought it was amazing for the green fee of 650 baht. So all in with the caddy and the caddy tip is under 40 baht, uh, for, no $40. And yeah, it's just a steal. I did get recommended this course by someone I played with at Bang Na, 
And uh, yeah, definitely glad I made the visit here as it exceeded my expectations in nearly every way. There's just one negative I can think of about these cheaper tie courses is they allow five and six balls on the course, which means if you get stuck behind them, you're forced to do a lot of waiting or to skip some holes to get through them. Uh, the next video on this channel will be the back nine. Uh, hopefully I'll shoot better than 18 over. <laughs> um, and uh, that'll come out next. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed playing and making it. And see you on the next one. Signing off.